On the border with ancient Nubia, Ramses built another massive monument, the mountain temple of Abu Simbel. Colleen has come here searching for clues about how Ramses' military skill contributed to the success of his empire. This is like the greatest hit of Ramses' victories. Ramses consolidated his empire in the south and pushed north to confront his powerful enemies, the Hittites. In temples all over Egypt, he recorded his victory against the Hittites, or so he wanted us to think. Around 1300 BC, the Egyptians fought their arch rivals, the Hittites, at the fortress city of Kadesh. In possibly the largest chariot battle in history, the light Egyptian chariots had the edge over the heavy Hittite war machines. Ramses recorded the victory as a massacre, but in reality, it was more of a draw. The two kings agreed a truce, resulting in the world's first recorded peace treaty. It enabled the Egyptians to spend all of their resources on peacetime pursuits, building massive constructions like this, and usher in a golden age for Egypt. Instead of waging costly military campaigns, Ramses built his success through a mastery of diplomacy. But to win the hearts of his citizens, he still needed to depict himself as a mighty warrior. He's on his chariot, alone with the reins tied behind his back so that he's free to shoot his bow. We know that this is a little bit of propaganda because even the hieroglyphic text says that his shield bearer, Mena, was riding in the chariot with him. Ramses was a master of ancient public relations, happy to bend the truth to promote an image which would appeal to his people. In the temple's inner sanctum, Colleen discovers another secret of Ramses' success. Here, by placing his statue between the greatest gods of Egypt, Ramses used a clever trick of the light to engineer his own divinity. Twice a year, the sun rays reach all the way through the temple, illuminating these figures in the sanctuary. Colleen believes Ramses used this solar alignment to convey a powerful message that he was the living embodiment of the sun god. Truly, here at Abu Simbel, Ramses II is not just a king, he is a god. <laughs>